In this video we're taking a look at inequalities and specifically we're talking about writing out inequalities uh, from given a diagram. So first thing to note is that if we are given a dot like we are in all of our inequality diagrams we need to see we need to check whether it is coloured in or if it is hollow. If it is coloured in that means that it includes the number so that is to say that it has a line underneath it is e it could be equal to that number as well if it is a hollow dot like we've got down here then that means that it does not include so in this case it would not include the number 2 and so we would use this symbol here okay so let's start having a go at these right out the inequality shown in the diagrams so here we are shown that um, our number could be equal to negative 2 or greater than it. So what we could say is that x is equal to or greater than negative 2. So x is equal to or greater than negative 2. So what we're saying here is that our number, the number that we're looking at, could be negative 2 or bigger than negative 2. So x could be equal to negative 2 or bigger than negative 2. Hopefully you follow that. Okay, next one. We've got a hollow point, so it doesn't include the number 2. And here we're saying that it is less than 2. So x is less than 2. If it was coloured in, we would say that it's less than or equal to 2. It's not coloured in, so we're just saying that x is less than 2. Now, on these examples, we have got an inequality um, that's more like a range. So here we've got x is less than is less than 2. So x could be any number going on forever in that direction. So getting smaller and smaller, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and so on. Now, here we've got a range. So we've got a hollow point here at negative 1 and we've got a coloured in point at 2 so what we can say is that x is in between negative 1 and 2 now could it be could our value of x a number that we don't know could it be <coughs> equal to minus 1 as well no it couldn't because it's hollow so we would say that x is greater than minus 1 but it is less than or equal to 2 so again we've got a hollow point here so it is not equal to we've got a coloured in point so it could be equal to next one we've got minus 4 and we've got 1, we've got x in between those and we can say that x is greater than negative 4 but less than 1. Again they're not coloured in so we use the greater and less than signs as opposed to greater than or equal to. Right last one we've got negative 3 and we've got 1 and so x is greater than or equal to negative 3 but less than or equal to 1. 